Hi everyone, this is Donald Olszewski and welcome to another episode of How'd She Do That? And today we're going to make this cute ice cream cone card. And it is made from the petal cone die. And it opens like this. Isn't that adorable? So I'm just going to give you a few tips on, on how to do it. So let's get started. Okay, so you actually need three pieces of cardstock for this. One is crumb cake. So you'll cut out the shape with the crumb cake. Then the next one is you just need a scrap piece of paper of, of vanilla. This is our very vanilla cardstock, and all I really need is this triangle here. And then the last thing that you need is um, this is just one of these little um, half circles, I guess you'll call them, um, and they're going to be for our ice cream scoop. All right. So uh, that's it for the petal cone die, and I'll show you what to do next. Next I cut um, some pretty in pink. This matches our um, ice cream scoop. And this is cut from the tastefully trimmed die. It has one, two, three, four trim pieces on here. I'm using this kind of narrow one here. And really you only need, I'll call these kind of five bumps of it. So there you go. Okay, for this next step what I want to do is I want to put some texture on here to make our cone look like a waffle cone. And what I used to do that was a textures plate, and it's called Perfect Details, and here is the waffle side, and the other side has these swirls on it. So to do our sandwich to run through the Big Shot, I have my tab open to tab one, and then you put your textures plate down, so it doesn't need a cutting pad on the bottom. Though, however, for my machine, I like to put a shim, um, just a piece of cardstock underneath there. Then you put your plate and then you put your cutting material. So um, on this, whatever is your um, your front side, you want to place that down onto the plate. Now the next two pieces do not come with your Big Shot. They are purchased separately. And this is the silicone rubber and then the silicone impressions pad, which essentially replaces a, a cutting pad. So there you go. There's your sandwich and you run it through the Big Shot machine and you're ready to go. Okay, so now you need to do a little bit of trimming. So the piece that you, um, the scrap piece of pretty and pink that you're using for your ice cream scoop, you just want to cut it down to this size. All right. And there's a scored line here, and, a sc and, and that's all you're doing is cutting that off to get your half circle. Now for the next one, you want to get this petal cone to look like this. So what we did is we trimmed off one of the scoops and then this side tab. So this goes and that goes. All right. Then the next thing that you want to do is you want to take your scrap very vanilla and you want to make it look like this. So trim off this and then trim off that. And then I'm going to show you another um, trick to getting this just a slightly smaller. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so um, this piece, if you just cut it down, it is the exact same size of this, and, and that could be fine. You could just open up your card and see that, but I kind of like to see the uh, matting um, sort of edge on it. So um, i show you how I did that. Really easy. I took my paper trimmer, and did you realize if you have this kind of a trimmer here that this line between the cutting space and the silver space is an eighth inch. So I'm going to come in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about. So here's my cutting groove. All right. And here is um, that silver. So all you're going to do is line up your edge right across on that silver. And I'm just going to back up here so you can see. And then I'm going to cut that. Okay, and then I'm going to do that just on one side, and then on the top, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to match it up on that silver edge, trim it off, and then, voila, I have a nice little matted layer here. There you go. Okay, so now I want to add a little bit of sponging to make some of this um, detail pop here. So I'm just going to do rub across this a little bit and get some of those raised edges to pop our waffle our waffle detail there we go and then probably sponge the edge a little bit and 
then we'll be done with that. Okay, now I'm not worried about this part because I'm covering it. So see how that pops that a little bit better? There we go. Just edge that a little bit. There we go. Okay, so the other sponging that I'm going to do, um, so this was crumb cake on crumb cake. Now I'm going to do regal rows onto my, my cone uh, scoop, my ice cream scoop. Okay, and actually I probably don't even need to do the bottom there because we're going to take one of these and before I actually sponge it, I want to round this edge here. So I'm just going to do that real quick here. And... There we go, because so, I want to make that look like that. So, and then we'll sponge this as well, and then we'll be done with our sponging. Okay, so here is a finished card um, with the scoop and the everything attached to it. But I do want to add one more cute little detail, and that is I want to put a cherry on top. So I have punched out two pieces here come in. This is a red glimmer paper and this is a half inch circle and this is the real red um, cardstock. Now I also am going to add, I want to add a, the stem for our cherry and I'm just going to do that real quick and I'm um, show you how I got that. It's quite simple to do. What you're going to do is I've already punched out um, a piece out of our crumb cake and this was a one inch punch. And what you want to then do is we just want a sliver, okay? So that's how you get that small little piece. So quick and easy thing to do like that. Then I've already added some adhesive to this, and we're going to put it on the top here. And I'm going to add a little more adhesive to this. There we go. And it'll just then sit on the back of this. And there's our cute little love that cherry with the stem but another cool thing is this card will fit into Stampin' Up's um, long open-ended envelopes. So I'll come out on that for you to see that. So there you go. Love it. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, stop by um, dostampin.typepad.com and we'll see you again.